Oi, oi. Roger Retro Gamer, how we all doing? <laughs> Hope you're well. We're going on to D's in amongst my Sega Master System collection. You have to excuse the voice a bit, I'm a bit croaky. I've survived the great man flu pandemic of 21. Just about, it's just, just leaving me now. It's not the Rona, it's, it's in, some would say it's worse, it's man flu. <laughs> Anyway, um, once again, we're looking at D's now. We have a special guest. Oi, oi. <laughs> We've got the Vimto out, so let's crack on. Um, <clears throat> in at number one, Daffy Duck in Hollywood. It's a platformer. What more do you want? It's the nuts. I absolutely love this. 18, le 18 zones, 6 levels. Well worth a playthrough. Great little game. And um, what I think is where the, where the master system shines. Platformer. Absolutely brilliant. So, um, yeah. Real good game. Can't rec recommend it highly enough. Next one. Danan, 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 the jungle fighter. Well, what can we say? I, I haven't really played this, I'll be honest. Um, but looking at the back, it looks a bit mellow RPG, sort of Metroid, Castlevania-ish. So, um, yeah, look forward to giving that a blast. <coughs> I don't know how well the old uh, screenshots will come out on there. What were these silly baggies? But unfortunately, they've got to be done. Three. So, uh, Danan. Danan, Danan. Dead Angle. Now that's proper box art. Look at that, bad boy. Dead Angle. Got a. Wicked. Six rounds. The mob has swiped your girl. You're the meanest private I ever to hit the big apple and you're gonna get her back. Yeah, but the, but the mob is waiting with Tommy guns and other nasty surprises. Can you save her from the big sleep? <laughs> Sounds pretty good. <laughs> um, again, unfortunately I've not played this. So, um, apart from a quick five minutes to um, make sure it works. So, uh, I look forward to giving that a blast. I've been playing a lot of Master System recently. Um, this really has, I've said it before, it's, it's reignited love for Master System. Having a look through my collection, watching Retro Red Steve, get to know, um, there's so many Zanoni, um, 8 bit boy. I mean, there's there's been so many doing the master system challenges, even Ink Northerner. Um, he's been getting in amongst it. Um, so yeah, it's reignited my love for the master system. Look at that for box art. I loved DuckTales on the NES, but I must be honest, these. These are just as good, but in a different way. Brilliant. Look at that. One player. But look at that for box art though, you know. Beautiful bit of colour. They've done the little cheeky, cheeky screenshot on the, well, bit of artwork on the side. I love that. Brilliant, great stuff. Deep Duck Trouble, starring Donald Duck. Um, another great one. Desert Speed Trap, Roadrunner versus Wiley Coyote. Again, one player. 93 that come out. Look at that. It was great fun. Be nice if they started to release these. Not not remasters, but you know what I mean? Get get back some old school platforming. With these sort of characters, you know? Get some humour in it. Some silliness. Look at that. 
great game. I haven't played it in a long while, but I did give it a real good blast years ago. Desert Speed Trap, brilliant. An absolute classic, yeah? By Domark on the Master System, Desert Strike. And it was a pretty good, pretty fair sort of port, really. Obviously, we all know and love the, the Mega Drive, but um, look at that. Looks wicked. 27 missions over four levels of difficulty. One player. Look at that. Screenshots are brilliant. Nice. Yeah. Desert Strike. Bit of Dick Tracy. Hey, look at that. That was a decent game as well. I think I played it more on the Mega Drive, but I, uh, when I got this, I played it an awful lot, I must admit. Dick Tracy. Sorry if you're not paying much attention to this. Don't get all excited. It's, it's my heavy breathing because I've got a cold. Man flu. Rather than um, any naughties going on in the background. Look at that. Six rounds. Dick Tracy. Quality stuff. Now I absolutely love these on the NES. And um, it's a good enough port. But... Um, I just have so much nostalgia for one, two, and three on the NES, but it was a bloody good port, I thought, on the on the uh, Master System for one or two players. What was it Bimmy and Jimmy or something when um, <laughs> made that cock up? I don't know if that still um, is on this one, but using the ancient Oriental martial art of Ken Pole. Fight your way through this through a city controlled by ruthless, ruthless gangs of thugs. Yeah, 1988. Bloody hell! Look at that for 1988. Christ! Great little game. I actually played it during um, during the lockdown last year on on my PSP that's fully loaded, the Mega Drive version, and. Um, I don't remember completing it an awful lot back in the day, but um, but I was well chuffed to complete that last year, and I, I, I realised there ain't much to it. It's quite a short game, really, um, but decent enough. This is quality. This is proper 80s, 90s box art. Look at that. Double Hawk. Arnie and Sly on there, surely. <laughs> And again, unfortunately, it's one I haven't played much of. So I can't wait to get in amongst that one. Look at that. Box porn all, all the way there. Big boys and big guns. Yeah, bring it on. Double hawk. And we go on to one. I picked this up, I think this was only last year. Um, yeah, it must have been. Really nice guy. Um, he's been a bit of a collector and a and a buyer and a seller, and uh, he's into all sorts. I think he's more into records and stuff now. Really nice guy over at um, uh, sort of Suffolk Way. I won't give it all away, but um, really nice guy, Dan. Um, I managed to get that off him. Absolutely top quality condition. Now I really love this on the Mega Drive back in the day. That's where I experienced it. But um, this is definitely a contender for one of the better games on the Master System, in my opinion. Um, I know it gets slated a bit, but it could be worse. It could be as bad as Sonic Spinball, you know. <laughs> but that's a cool bit of box art. We've got the Sega sticker on the top for good measure, but um, yeah, it looks a bit watered down from the Mega Drive version, but um, I, I think it's tip top. 
But yeah, great game. I know it goes for a few quid now. It went for a few quid when I bought it. I can't remember how much I paid, but it weren't it weren't cheap by any means. Um, this is one I just love. I love the film. Um, the actor in it, Jason Jason Scott Lee. Um, I'm sure it was him. But I must have watched the film back in the day 20, 30 times and um, absolutely bloody loved it. Dragon, the Bruce Lee story. Absolutely brilliant. And it's such a, I mean, that was as good a actor as you could get for the, the, the type of film and the, the, um, the character portrayed. So um, I absolutely loved the film. That's absolutely brilliant. And um, bit of a, a dark spinage. I love that when they put a different colour on the box just to freak everyone out. Bit of an oddball. Look at that. It's a decent game as well. Certainly put a few decent hours into this. Really enjoyed it. Really enjoyed the Mega Drive version and the Master System one. Tip top. Um, <coughs> this next one, Dragon Crystal. Again, I haven't played it. It looks like it could be a bit Golden Axe Warrior or like a zelda -y sort of a NES version of a Zelda. Um, you'll pass through 30 worlds in search of some magic, in search of the magic goblet, uh, goblet, sorry. Getting all bunged up. In need of a, a Vimto break, I reckon. Um, looks cool. I thought I had this on the Game Gear, you know. I think it was one I had on the Game Gear. It, it might have been, or it, I might have been thinking of a pinball game, but I'm just thinking, looking at that. Anyway, Dragon Crystal. I'll have to let you know what I think of it, or let me know what you think of it. If it's worth a playthrough, I'll put it up there at the, the top of the list to, to have a go on. So, um, looks pretty decent, must admit. Looks pretty cool. But, um, yeah. Then we got Dynamite Duke. Nineteen ninety one. Sorry, I'm going in a bit of a <laughs> having to ponder at the box art. You know, a lot of these games I've I've looked at when I've picked them up. I've had a quick five minute play of them, and then just lobbed them on a shelf and it, it's bloody criminal so a lot of these games this is it's like i haven't seen them before you know so um and that's where i've been going wrong I need to kick kick my own ass and um get in amongst it but dynamite duke look at that i was thinking at first it might be like a either a, a scrolling forward like um almost like a uh it's got a 3D sort of look to it, so it, it could have been like a Space Harrier type idea, or or just a one-on-one -on -one 3D effect. Anyway, Dynamite Duke. Sorry about the old um, baggy, detracting from the nice artwork. But, um, there we go, Dynamite Duke. And then lastly for the D's, Dynamite Ducks. Now I've recently been playing the arcade version of this on the um, coin op set Xbox that I've got. And um, as silly as it is, I've really enjoyed it. <laughs> Dynamite Ducks. Or Dukes. But I would have thought it's Ducks. In God's country this way, it's Ducks. All right, in it. <laughs> Look at that lot. Yeah, it's great side-scrolling sort of um, duck them up. <laughs> yeah, it's decent enough. Um, obviously, I've been playing the arcade version, which is no doubt much better. But um, I'll tell you what, looking at the screenshots, it, it looks like they've done a bloody good job. So, um, so yeah. 
Looking forward to giving that a blast. Dynamite ducks. Anyway, I need to go and sort myself out, have a bit of Vimto, and um, maybe I'll be back again in a little while with um, with ease. Anyway, take it easy. I'll see you again soon. Thanks a lot for watching. Take care. Bye.